Okay, welcome to your first English 1310 online video. I am Mrs. Bailey. Welcome to the class. And um, I like to use these screen recording videos quite a bit. So you'll get used to sitting there um, watching the information on the screen and hearing my voice explaining things as we go. So um, hopefully that works for you. I found it to be really effective. So I just wanted to talk you through really quick um, a guide to taking English 1310 online and mention a few things about the syllabus just to make sure we're all on the same page. So I'm just going to go over this really quickly. Um, do I need to be proficient in technology? You really do. The main thing that um, is important that I've listed here is you really need um, good internet access. Um, you're going to be taking a lot of quizzes online. <coughs> Excuse me. You'll be accessing all of your materials online. It's an online course. So um, you can't have internet access that is intermittent or um, not strong enough to stream videos. Um, it really is best if you can plug in and make sure you have a good secure connection. So my expectation is that you are able to um, be online. And you need to be able to figure out Blackboard, and I do my best to make it easy for you and intuitive, um, but if you have a question about how to do something, um, it's your responsibility to email me um, and also to work towards figuring that out on your own. Where will I find weekly assignments? Um, this should be really easy. On the left side of the page, I have tabs for each week, and I do open it up one week at a time. So. Um, you know, for the first week, you'll just see a tab for week one. And then towards Friday or Saturday, towards the end of week one, I will open up week two so you can see what's coming for the next week. As far as due dates, they are um, hard and fast. There is no late work allowed, and I emphasize that a lot, um, especially with this five-week course. Um, you have got to stay on top of your deadlines because if you get behind it's just so much material to cram into five weeks. Um, you've got to really be on top of things. As far as due dates go, I usually have um, just a few quizzes and items due in the middle of the week. So like on a Thursday night, you might have a couple quizzes due, but really the majority of um, your tests and assignments will be due Sunday night. And I do that to accommodate, I know some people work during the week and are really busy, so if weekends are your only time, you really have to the very end of the weekend. And I pick 11.30 p.m. just because it's easy. Midnight um, can be confusing. I won't get into all that. But 11.30 p.m. will always be the deadline. Is taking online class easier? Um, no, it's really not. In fact, um, in some ways, it can be a little more complicated because you don't get to ask me questions in person in class. Um, and you don't get to hear as much lecture as you would. Um, a lot more of the responsibility falls on you to make sure that you are getting all the content in through reading and watching the videos. Um, and that can be tough in the summer and it can be tough in five weeks. So I don't want you to think that just because you're taking 1310 online, it's going to be easier. We use the exact same syllabus, books, it's the same class that's offered on campus during the semester. Um, and we are squeezing a 15-week semester into five weeks. So really just about every day is like a week of regular school. Um, do I need to check my email, watch all the videos, and read all the textbook assignments, or can I skip some of it? Um, well, the short answer is no. Um, you know, part of that depends on the grade you want. If you're, if you're in it for the C, then... Yeah, you could skip a few things, um, but if you're in it for the A, then you have to read it all. You have to watch all the videos and um, turn in all the assignments. Um, checking email is important. I will send you emails week by week um, just reminding you of things. You know, I want you to succeed. I want you to do as well as you can in the, this course, so that is my goal. And the way that I help you do that is through sending you reminders, sending you emails, giving you information. Um, I can't make you do it, but I can help the best I can. What do I do if I have questions? Obviously, you can contact me, um, send me an email, um, 
I do have here that I try to answer many of your questions in advance, many of your questions in advance. So, you know, read the assignment carefully before you send me that email. I've been teaching this course for several years, so, um, you know, I, I pretty much know what most students are going to ask, what the common questions are. So, you know, just read the instructions carefully before you email me a question. Um, there is also a community discussion board where you can ask other students questions. Um, so that's there for you. And I do my best to respond to emails within 24 hours. Um, you know, I'm not sitting here all the time. I do have some other part-time jobs in the summer, um, but I do make it a rule to try and respond pretty quickly. Um, what if I get kicked out of Blackboard while I'm taking a test or quiz? Um, this does happen every once in a while. Um, your internet connection can fail, or sometimes Blackboard just has a glitch and will kick you out, and I totally get that. But you must email me immediately, all right? You can't email me three days later after you've seen the quiz or seen the test and say, oh yeah, by the way, I need to take that again because I got kicked out when I was two-thirds of the way through. Because that's not really fair to your classmates um, to be able to go back and take the test three days after you've seen it. Um, and typically it will save the answers that you have so you only go back in and complete it. But just be aware that I can see a lot that happens in Blackboard. Um, so don't try to abuse that. But I, you know, I will, if you get kicked out, you know, I will let you try again um, and show a little grace there. So those are some of the basic questions that people have about taking um, online courses. Let's switch over to the syllabus. All right, so let's talk a little more specifically about 1310. Um, I have my email here, and you can email me through Blackboard. That's fine, too. Um, there are two textbooks that you need, um, the Handbook for Writers and a textbook called Steps to Writing Well. And we will use both of these textbooks. I know they're expensive, um, but when you're a college student, you need books. And um, you will have reading assignments from both of these books that you will be tested over and quizzed over. Um, a lot of my videos will go briefly over that information in the book, but you still need the actual detailed reading. Um, I can't go over every single thing in a video that's covered in the book. Course description. Um, this is a class about writing, and we do a significant amount of grammar. There are several short essays, um, five to be exact. You write five essays, so you have an essay due every week. And um, we take a few unit tests and a final exam. Um, the good news is the essays are not long, nor do they require research, so that's good. Um, course learning outcomes, we don't need to go over that. Um, evaluation methods, it's a 10-point scale, um, and I do out of 1,000 points. So it's pretty easy to get in and calculate your grades. Um, and here I have just a chart of all the different essays we're writing and how many points each essay is worth. So we start, I have you write an assessment essay, and that one I just assign a 10-point quiz grade. And then we start with, you know, a 25-point essay, and then we bump it up to 50 points, and then 75. So you really do, you get a chance to improve your writing and improve your grammar the higher the stakes go. And the essays are worth 60% of your overall grade. So that's, you know, if you're the student who's going for that A in the course, then um, you really need to focus your time on writing these essays. And watching all the videos, doing all the reading, um, especially the videos um, over the rhetorical strategies, you may not know what that means yet, but it'll make sense to you soon. Um, that will help you with my expectations for your essays, okay? Um, journals will, I'll give you more information about that later, but you will be writing journals every week. Um, grammar, daily quizzes will be over the grammar and your unit test and your final exam. So about 40% of the class is more focused on um, grammar. So don't let that scare you. You guys can do this. You can totally get the grammar and I will help you with it. Um, there is no late work, all right? So, um, you know, unless you have a documented excuse like a doctor's note or whatnot then um, you we can't accept late work it's a zero so make sure you get that stuff turned in on time 
Um, and you know what? It's better to turn in something than nothing. So even if your paper is incomplete, or even if you feel like it's really bad, it's anything is better than a zero. So always, always turn in what you've got, um, and you'll at least get some points. Plagiarism, um, you know, if we catch you plagiarizing, you get an automatic zero, and what that is is if you either copy and paste from the internet, um, someone else writes your paper, you submit a paper that has been written for another class, or a paper that you submitted if you've taken this class before. Um, so, you know, you have to write all new papers. Just make sure that you're careful there. And then we have some information here about accommodations and um, diversity and all this, and we don't really need to talk about all that. And then also on the syllabus, I just have a basic assignment schedule of the topics for each week. So you can see already that we're covering a lot of information. You have an essay due every week. You have your first test at the end of week two. Um, you have a second test at the end of week four. And that, that fifth week, um, you have an essay due and the final exam. But the, the content does get lesser towards the end. I've front-loaded the content a little bit. So we're not cramming in as much grammar at the end. It slows down a little bit as the papers get longer and as the tests get harder. So that is designed um, with that in mind. All right, so I hope that this little video just helps you out a little bit in understanding what is going to be expected of you. And um, you'll find throughout the course I like to throw in, so you're going to be taking a quiz over this, right? And um, one of the questions on the quiz you get, a little, you get a little treat for watching the video. Some people will take the quiz without watching the video. Um, one of the questions will be, what is the name of Mrs. Bailey's dog? All right? And the answer is Gadget. All right? I have a cute little black lab. Her name is Gadget. And you get a freebie question on the quiz. Just jot that down somewhere. Mrs. Bailey's dog. Her name is Gadget. And you get a free point um, just for watching the video all the way to the end. So congratulations, and I'm looking forward to getting to know you guys.